The net neutrality regulations have been a divisive topic in the technology and media sector over the last few years. With possible changes to net neutrality, I will discuss what net neutrality is and how it came to be. Also, how net neutrality affects businesses and how it affects you, the consumer. Net neutrality, should we keep it or kill it? Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. In 2015, the Federal Communications Commission, which at that time was chaired by Tom Wheeler, passed the net neutrality regulations. Those regulations said that the internet service providers could not slow down or block content that is legal from their paying subscribers. The content providers also could not pay ISPs to make their services or websites flow faster than their competitors. Community groups, including those in Reddit, along with Netflix and Google, argued to the FCC that the open internet needs to be protected. Internet service providers such as Comcast and AT&T stated their disagreements for the regulations as being heavy-handed. The Wheeler-led FCC took the side of Reddit, Netflix, and Google, putting together rules that don't allow slowing or throttling content from some providers and not others. This could all change with the new FCC chairman, Ajit Pai, who in 2015 was one of two on the FCC commission that voted against the regulations. If the net neutrality rules are unraveled, here's how it could affect consumers. Internet companies like AT&T or Verizon could offer more deals to stream content they own or through partner agreements without accounting against data monthly limits. Content providers could make deals with ISPs to make sure they have the fastest possible delivery of their content to consumers, which could leave smaller content providers in the slow lane for delivery of their content, giving them a disadvantage to larger, more established companies. Those that support net neutrality say that weakening the rules gives ISPs too much power. While those on the other side, primarily ISPs, believe that less regulation would allow for more innovation and competition. Michael Copps, a former FCC commissioner and interim chairman, said, quote, if we're going to keep net neutrality, it's going to demand considerable action from the grassroots, unquote. Where do you stand? Should net neutrality stay the way it currently is now, with more enforcement of the rules? Or should the new FCC administration roll back the net neutrality regulations to give the ISPs more power to control the speed from content providers? Make your voice heard in the comments. I'm curious to see which side of this issue the YouTube community stands on regarding net neutrality. Give the video a thumbs up if you like this topic. And if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button below this video so you don't miss out on the latest in technology from Tech Gumbo.